Hello nursery, it's Mrs Holloway. Now I've got a special treat for you. My friend Matt works in a job where he helps people. Now I've asked him to tell us a little bit more about what he does and what it's like and he's also given us a special book to read. I wonder what job it is that he does. Shall I give you a clue? He might need to use this. Do you think you know what he is? Shall we find out? Over to you, Dr Bottomley. Hi, I'm Dr Bottomley and I'm Mrs Holloway's friend. She's asked me to say a very big hello to all the children at French. Now, I've given Mrs Holloway a very special book that's all about doctors. Maybe you've been to the doctor before or you've seen a doctor on TV. Being a real doctor is a brilliant job because we get to help people who are sick and make them better. It's a very busy job and sometimes we have to work very long days, but we don't mind because we like helping. Let's take a look at Mrs Holloway's book together and learn more about what doctors do and how they help us. Bye bye. Thanks, Dr Bottomley. Shall we take a look inside? Busy People, Doctor by Lucy M. George. Now this is a non-fiction book. That means it's not a story. It's an information book. Let's take a look inside and learn more about doctors. Dr. Miranda works in a GP practice. She helps make people better when they feel ill or have been hurt. Maybe you've been to a GP practice. Good morning, doctor, says the receptionist. You have lots of people to see. It's going to be a busy day. Dr. Miranda's first patient has a swollen ankle. Oh dear, Olivia, can I have a look? asks Dr. Miranda gently. She feels Olivia's leg and ankle, asking her where it hurts the most. Dr. Miranda thinks Olivia needs an x-ray. She tells Olivia's mummy to take her to the hospital. Just to make sure nothing's broken, says Dr. Miranda. Next, Dr. Miranda gives twin babies their injections, sees a boy with a bad case of chicken pox, checks a pregnant woman's blood pressure and listens to a man's chest with her stethoscope. Now Dr Miranda has to call patients who are too poorly to leave home. She asks them questions and then decides how to help them. Dr Miranda is about to go and have lunch when the receptionist rushes in. Can you see one more patient this morning, Doctor? she asks. Jimmy has just arrived at the surgery for an emergency appointment. His daddy explains that he has a cough and a high temperature. Dr Miranda asks whether Jimmy has a rash or any other symptoms. No, he's just been sleeping lots today, haven't you, Jimmy? His dad says. Dr Miranda takes Jimmy's temperature with a thermometer. Then she looks in his ears with an otoscope. Say, ah, she tells Jimmy. Ah, Jimmy says, opening his mouth wide. Then she looks at the back of his throat using a special stick. Next, Dr Miranda asks Jimmy to sit on the bed and take his jumper off. Dr Miranda listens carefully to Jimmy's chest using a stethoscope. It feels cold and it tickles. Dr Miranda thinks Jimmy has a chest infection. She writes him a prescription for some medicine and asks him to come back in a couple of days if he's not better. You should feel well again very soon, she tells him, waving goodbye. Thank you, Doctor, says Jimmy. Dr Miranda checks her afternoon schedule with the receptionist. What a busy day it's been already. Dr Miranda just has to make one more call before she can go out for lunch. What else does Dr Miranda do? She visits patients at home, 
sends people to hospital, gives injections to stop people getting ill, gives people their test results. What does Dr Miranda need? A stethoscope, a prescription pad, a computer, tongue depressors, otoscope, thermometer and a telephone. Other busy people. Here are some of the other busy people doctors work with. Receptionists book appointments for patients, get test results from the hospital and look after patient records. Pharmacists are highly trained and know all about medicines. They make up prescriptions and also give health advice. Nurses care for wounds, give health advice, take blood for tests and treat other non-serious ailments. Ambulance drivers take people who are very ill or injured to the hospital so they can see a doctor quickly. What do you think of Dr Miranda's day? Dr Miranda was very caring. What else should doctors be like? Would any of you like to be a doctor? Can you remember what the special equipment Dr Miranda uses was called? Have you ever been ill or visited the doctor? How did you feel and what helped you to feel better? Have you met any of the other busy people in this book? What do you know about receptionists in GP surgeries or ambulance drivers? What would you like to be when you grow up? <laughs>